Bonjour Thalassa, je m'appelle Christina Zanato et je vais vous raconter ma vie avec le requin. When I see them and I see they suffer, I want to stop them from suffering. And so that's where the idea of trying to remove the hooks that they showed up with started. Um, it takes time. Some hooks come out in one try. Sharks swim by, I grab the hook and it comes out. Some hooks require uh, many dives, many hours, um, many attempts. It depends on where the hook is positioned in the mouth. Their jaw is really swollen, and also the wire that comes out of the hooks, some hooks have still the wire, yeah. uh, rubs against their skin and creates like huge um, skin infections. Some sharks don't eat, so they, they try to eat, and when they try to eat, they actually uh, let the food fall out of their mouth. Circular hook. These are designed to not be swallowed by shark, but these are very hard to remove. But with sharks, their skin is really tough. And so this part here, the little barb, that is what remains stuck. They can't open and close correctly. All sharks that I touch go to sleep, and not all sharks that I work with like to be touched. At the end of the day, I do believe it's the right combination of the right person with the right shark at the right time. So also like the environment affects the sharks and their behavior. We need the sharks. The world needs the sharks. Sharks are the guardians of the reef, and as such, they're also the guardians of our oceans, and we depend from the oceans. <laughs>